Technology Live. We're going to be doing a game we're going to call the comic book game. Because it's not necessarily superheroes, although they, we're kind of at the beginning. We're saying there aren't any actual costume heroes yet in this world. And we're creating a whole new world. Um, everyone rolled their origins. And then I look through them and see where they're overlapped. And from that, from their origins, like if someone's origin was there created by a company, I created the company. So basically, like in comic books, it seems like Fantastic Four only runs into Fantastic Four people that are tied to them. So that's what we're doing. But we're also not saying anyone has put on costumes or anything. So, on this, I'll need your character sheet for a little bit. Morgan? No! Because there's certain things we do need to go through. One, you don't have a code name. You don't need to have one yet. How about a real name? One on your paycheck. If you just come with the first name for now, we'll be good. Here. Women's names. Why does he have a list of women's names ready at all times? Yeah, I'm not off the uh, phone, uh, internet. For... Yeah, yeah, but you still have For a what? Because I was looking for that. Oh, for his character. Yeah. He's working on the origin for his character, so he already looked up some names, so... Okay, it makes sense now. He's not just, you know, stealing women and hiding them and renaming them. No. Kick people's asses, take their names, and give those names to other people whose asses you've kicked. Here, now, here's Susan! Here's Susan. Did I kick your ass again? Okay. Violet. Violet? V... If I, like, spell it. Yeah. V-I-O-L-E-T. Okay, just being sure. Okay, um, and Julie's excellent, so that actually I should last have that down. There. I don't need a last name right now! Okay. She's just... If I, was gonna, you, if I was gonna come up with a last name, it'd be my drag last name. Okay. Which is gonna be... Now you made her come up with it. <laughs> oh, one more, one more. <laughs> that was hilarious. So it's pain? Yes. <coughs> really? You are violent pain? Yes. Okay. What? How bad is the pain? Oh, it's violent pain. It's a drag name all on its own. At least it's not Violet Vixie or something like that, you know, V and V. Yep, Violet Pain. Chili's excellent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a plus seven. The initiative in this game, it's going to be, if you remember, like from the one of my older hero games, you'll get a number, which will be a die 20 plus your bonus, and you get to move every 15 phases within that. Go get something to drink. Okay, for you or me. Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh. Am I smacking my lips, sir? No, I could hear your tongue hitting the roof of your mouth every time you talk. It's because it's sticky. <laughs> okay. Now, um, certain things we were going to address. 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 You're a violet. You can wear a dress. <laughs> it's gonna be a violet dress. <laughs> violet and violet. Let's see here. Um, your skills is you're good at trivia and animals. Specifically, a certain one you have hidden at home right now. Who says it's at home? True. But it might be the safest since where you are now is at the labs you took it from. True. You just take him back every day? No. Put it back in a cage but no, no. one knows? No. She uh, had a, a breakout at Rayon Medical Labs, the animal division. Um, some people, a lot of people this time rolled characters with pets, so we had to explain why these pets showed up. But on top of that, Because there was a breakout, that means 
we have to roll what? So, um, escaped pets. Roll a die 10. Since they happened where you worked, and you think you may have been responsible for it, but you're not sure. Five! Shit. Glasses. You need to wear your glasses, mister. Don't even want to do a drawing. You want. They look better. I'm sure my son's drawings look great that way. I wonder sometimes if that's the problem. No, he's a long ways. Oh my god. That is cool. No, right here. On the screen, dear. Oh. I just died. I knew I was watching it. I was watching it. It had the fan. The edge of the fan in the corner that's like spinning. Okay. What'd you roll? Five? Holy shit. That is awesome. Told you. I'm going to have to keep that. For something you know, in the background. Right? I have another one like that too. From one day we were just filming and it's just some weird all random thing in the house. I'm like, I'm keeping that. <laughs> okay, five. Okay. Um, we're just going to go with the game as... Oh wait, you rolled a... Did you roll a die 10? Which roll? Five. Okay, that was your... Okay. I was thinking percentage size. You just complicate things and roll a plant. A plant escaped. But no, five is... There were five pets. Or animals. Two, three, four, five. If yours ends up not listed, we'll add them. Okay? Roll. 65. An amphibian? A toad. <laughs> okay, roll again. I should write that correctly. 43! An avian? Sixty-four. Another amphibian, but they will not be the same kind. Seventeen. An insect. Okay. Twenty-six. A mammal. Okay, now for simplicity. Um, I gotta add some. Don't let it give it away. I'll add them later. I do need to add, yours can be the mammal. So we got that. Um, someone else's, who's over there, his was an egg when it was given to him. Yeah. Why well, didn't eat it? He's actually got a chip implanted. Why? That's what was rolled. Why? Hey, that's the power he rolled. His is ice powers. I don't care. Yours is in. You have an invisible cheetah. You know what its name is? Or what what species it is? No. But between players, I'll tell you. They're known as invisible stalkers. <laughs> it's a cheetah. It's a cat that runs at high speeds invisibly. It's kind of dangerous in the streets, though. It could get hit. No one's going to see it coming. But that's the point. So I won't even see it. It's invisible. And when he wants to be. It can turn visible. It's not always invisible. Just like his isn't always blowing ice at people. Okay. What now? Well, that was the first thing. We had to find out what else escaped. Because today, I'll give you a little fill-in on your life. Um, for name, we'll just put Violet for now. Okay. We're in the pre- 
you know, before we actually start the campaign, kind of the origin stuff. Um, people you know. Dr. Jonathan White. He was a doctor that did the surgery. They put these stones, um, they're mineral deposits, as they call them, but they're, you feel them. Um, they put them in the chakra points to allow you to move again because you were paralyzed when you were real young. Um, it worked. But they have to keep doing checkup on you and the best way to, because it's also experimental, was you became a, an employee of the company. You are the front, the assistant manager, receptionist. You deal with everything that comes in and it goes back to the people and they do the stuff actually. Now, people yeah, you know that. Yeah, I don't get paid for this shit either. Oh yeah, you do. Enough to live. Well, we didn't roll that. So let's, I guess we should do that. Roll for same size. 84. There's always something I forgot to add to the character sheet. Resources, 84? Yeah. Powerful, which is between good and excellent. The table's shaking. Yeah, I think he's doing something. I blame him. <laughs> Even if I don't have proof. It was so, probably me. Um, I'm picking on you. Yep. You're living middle class. You're doing all right. Especially since you live alone. Um, your biggest... Probably go to the bars a lot because you are a trivia queen. So you go and get free drinks and stuff. If you want. When you get bored. Um, roll die 10. We're looking for a side effect that you've been starting to suffer. Four. Okay. Um, you've been feeling a, well you're afraid it might be a cold or something. Your throat's been kind of sore. Um, occasionally your voice warbling. As far as like, you can't like, like almost like going through puberty. <clears throat> yeah, like no, just kidding. Hey, you stepped into that one. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Now, um, the reason this is brought up, because you need to something that, because you are having an appointment today. Karen is your boss. She informs you. Uh, her name's Car uh, that uh, Karen Moran. She's the Animal Lab's boss. And there will be a meeting t later on today. It was going to be earlier, but apparently your appointment was made. And I don't have much to say on that. Um, but there will be an appointment dealing with the lab situation later on. But for now, go to your appointment and take care of everything. And uh, have that new floozy of the, uh, you know, Linda, one that we have, in, the new intern. Oh, the hussy. Yeah, the one that really has, I don't know why she's here, except for, I'm pretty sure she's friends with the um, owner's son or something. I don't know. It just seems too weird. She's probably doing them. Could be. But I need you to make sure he's left and she's, she's uh, noticed to sit the counter up top or up front there. Keep an eye on everything, take notes for you while you're off in your appointment. And she heads off. Um... Give you a little idea. Karen's kind of uh she doesn't always seem <laughs> um strong or loud or anything, but she seems to be pretty accurate on what she plans and pretty simple basic things, just and she's quick about it. She knows what needs to be done. And uh, she cares for the animals. You see that. She hangs around the labs and stuff. She's concerned when the breakout happened. So wants to know what happened. 
Now, on to your appointment. Four percentage dice. And then what's your endurance? It's 57. My endurance is feeble. Holy shit! It can't focus. I bet you that's the problem. The camera's doing weird things. Okay. The system we're using is kind of like the classic Marvel superhero system, except for I added some additional stats down the human area, human range, to thicken that up a little bit and bring characters down to a more reasonable power level, especially for being a new world. So, your appointment today will be with Dr. Jonathan White. It will be here in, in this lab. He has a place. Um, also be there is Doug. The EKG um, full spectrum tech. He does EKG and he also runs a full spectrum on you so you can see how the the bioenergy on your body is doing. You, th you think it all sounds kind of hippie-ish really, but that's his job. And he's always been really nice to you. You know, he's been the same one you've had for most from the beginning. Um, but then there's someone new in the room. Who are you? She looks similar to Karen. Who are you? Sylvia. I run the uh, Dark Forces labs. Without radiation, there's negative effects we don't want to have happen. Those are qualified as Dark Forces, and my job is to study those. And Dr. White comes out. After... Oh, when you first entered the room, I should have stated, Dr. White was talking with Sylvia and seemed to be being really familiar with her, but she seemed to be kind of standoffish. Kind of like backup, you know, type thing. But like there's something going on between those two. Like some Bob Chickawawa? Maybe. Maybe there was. I mean, and it's not, not anymore. That's the problem. <laughs> okay. Have you laid down the table? First of all, they'll ask you, have you had any problems lately? Anything you feel out of the ordinary? I don't know if I should tell them. That's entirely up to you. <sighs> yeah. Okay. And that would be... Like some, uh... I think my voice is going through puberty again. Oh, hmm. Well, you do have a stone there, so it could be just inhibiting the uh, vocal cords, maybe, of some, or, you know. So, uh, we'll take a look at that. Let's pitch in the spe spectrum. Put it on there. And that's when he seems to bring over Sylvia to look at the readout. They seem to be throwing a lot of attention... Towards, let's see what Demi can, well, I can't remember. Your left hand. Not you after well. Does it move all right? You don't feel stiffness in that hand or anything? No. Huh. The bio scan shows that there's a, uh, what we've best described in the past as when you scan someone who's paralyzed. Like before this happened, in your scan, your whole body looked like this. Right now, only your left hand does, but you're saying it doesn't show any signs. Okay, well that's good. Um, but then he's like over there talking quietly to her again. Go ahead and roll percentage dice and see if you can like piece together some of the stuff said. Ninety-three. Okay, I would say the big thing you're picking up. Is uh, he says it seems to be an unusual amount of energy, and she's not. Sh she seems completely not sure why he even bothered to call her in. He says the scan's correct, but you know, first of all, I don't even know how efficient this bio scan thing of your guys's is. Is her first response on it. So it's like, unless you see actual effects, um, I'll call you. 
and she leaves. Who got her pennies in a bunch? Douglas. A little bit. Doug's over there doing the EKG thing instead of out of the room, you know, or taking the wires off and everything. He's like, uh, well, they they had a short thing for a while, but personally, I don't think Sylvia's. She can be sexual, but cold. And like, like she said with my machine, she acts like she's never seen it before. Or stuff like this. Like foreign. So I think she's from another country. Maybe they didn't even like have marriage or were they, you know, I don't know. She could be an alien. Ooh, could be. So what are you doing after this? Probably going home. Oh, okay. Why do you know where Trevi is going on it? Um. <laughs> No, I don't know that. I know there's a circus in town. If you want to go. Okay. 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 He seems happy. He's like... Wait, did you just ask me out on a date? Is that all right? It's fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, you have a date. And... You're done with your appointment around, but you still have work doing other yes, stuff until then, anyways. When you're off, yeah. um, so just give him a call. He'll meet you. Um, he'll be sure. Aaron's meeting. Oh shit! You only thing you know is the night you stole. I the kitty. didn't steal it. You freed the kitty. It jumped in my bag. This is not her. This is gaming. <laughs> but the night that you did that, who says I did it? The animals escaped. You don't. You really. You didn't let animals out. So that wasn't. You know. You don't feel. But it's weird that it happened the same night. So that's all you know. Um. It's a big meeting with everyone in the company. And she says it comes down to. We lost amphibian and avian. Uh, another amphibian, an insect, and a mammal. You find it weird that they like labeled them so exactly. Instead of like cat or whatever. Unless, one thing you're wondering, do they even know about the cat? Because it was supposed to be executed. So they could think it's dead. Maybe it turns visible, it stays invisible once dead. No, it's a flash fry them anyway, so you threw in a pillow. Whoosh. Um, we've looked at it, and as a company we've decided that, uh, well, people are too important to send out to the swamp. Out here behind the Emma Labs is Sequoia, or is Sequoia? Seminole Swamp Reservation. There's swamp for a while before you get to the reservation. But a lot of it's all um, federal parks. And, uh, well, we made an agreement with the military down at Maxwell Fort. And they're going to uh, go ahead and do some search through out there. See if there's anything dangerous. But otherwise, I don't find it prudent to send people out into a alligator-filled jungle or swamp. So uh, we will not be going out there and looking for them, but if you hear about them, please let us know. Uh, military will be out there occasionally, just don't go out there. And uh, where was Linda? Where is Linda? She was supposed to be at the receptionist desk. Yeah, that's what I heard. That's what I told you. That's where I saw her. Okay, find out where she went. Let me know. Okay, and then she heads out.
Everyone else is like looking like, you got picked out. <laughs> you got told to do something while we were all here watching. The rest of us will continue to be lazy and feed animals. Animals we can't close the cages on, apparently. So, what do you do? Go look for Linda. Roll percentage dice on your intuition and tell me the number. 98. Well, then it really doesn't matter, does it? Not good enough. No, just kidding. <laughs> You're like, what do you want me to know? It doesn't take you long to realize, as you start to look around, there's a lot of commotion going out in the... Oh, final thing I should say about the whole appointment. Basically, don't tell anyone else. Don't make it known. Because if it becomes known, we're going to have to do something more about these animals and actively hunt them down. And they will probably just live out there. So, Linda's out front talking with a news crew. I'm going to go grab her and tell her to shut her fucking mouth. Excuse me? The news people are following you. So did you see it too? I'm going to call security. Security! Okay. okay. Pick up your phones or down here for security. Okay. She goes back to telling the people that, no, she was there alone. No one else saw it. I wish someone else had seen it. Linda! What? Get back to work! She wasn't saying that. that I... News crew's like, so is this the end of the interview? She called no us out comments. here for nothing. What are you doing in those labs? No comment. Okay. You go inside and close the door. Okay. Linda Davidson in trouble? Yes. <laughs> and then some... Um, what? Karen wants to see you. Okay. Well, so you take her to Karen? Yep. Okay. Well, to find out what happened, she tries to explain. She was hanging out behind the labs. Uh, rope change dice. And tell me your reason. My reason is mighty, and I rolled an 85. Okay, we're in yellow. So, um, Linda saw either Bigfoot or a lizard man running around in the swamps out behind, out in the swamp, out behind the labs. You realize the yellow roll, oh, that's restricted man. She's not even supposed to be there. I thought she see something in a place she wasn't even supposed to be. But you're also thinking what might be... What if you guys let off into the swamp that you don't want not attention brought to? So... So, uh, let me go. Well, I'll go watch the front desk then. What were you even doing near the swamps. Um, say your business. She walks over I think it is. I was doing something for management. That's it. What would you do if I went and talked to Karen about it? Go ahead. You're coming with me. Okay. The other thing she can do is, after a while, she makes a phone call. The phone's handed over to Karen. She kind of smiles, smirks a little bit, and then hangs up the phone. Well, Linda. Looks like you're going to have plenty of time to talk to your press anyways. You're fired. You're out of here. I don't care. 
you want to go and have liaisons with uh, Troy over there behind the building, and even if he is the owner's son, who happens to be the congressman, I don't have to let you stay here. <laughs> You're laughing too? Oh, no, no. <laughs> but she's not in trouble for being back there. Is she getting in trouble with him? Roll percentage dice. 90. Okay. That was a weird thing. We thought Sylvia was dating Troy. Sylvia being Karen's sister. They're sisters, that's why they look so much alike. Oh, she no. This is the fight you rolled into. Uh, no, 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 no. But at the end of the night, you have circus tickets and you can leave. <laughs> You're like, but there's a circus here! <laughs> I can watch a freak show right here! <laughs> Bring over the popcorn. <laughs> Do I have to call Sylvia? <laughs> Yeah, do I? <laughs> yeah, that's up to you. You don't know Sylvia, though, that well. You, you you basically only met her, really. You heard of her. They, they, they're sisters. They get along, but... Okay. That is basically your setup. You're at work still. You'll be getting off work later. And that's, that's your world. What do you think? Are you happy with your her ass fired. setup? <laughs> now she has an enemy. Oh. <laughs> That's all right. Her boyfriend will probably find her another job somewhere else. Oh, I should mention for you <clears throat> the circus, the <laughs> Flying Ronaldo Brothers. Mm -hmm. They um. They're the ones that taught you acrobatics. That's why you're so good. What's your acrobatics skill? Uh, I, I have your character sheet. I'm not giving it to you. I want you to know by the I'm going to go. Can you go beat stuff up? Yes. No, you go create things? I want to finish that damn. Go right ahead. That's why we did yours first. Sounds like you had fun. Okay. Nope, I'm on the wrong one. He doesn't seem ready. He seems over there. What? You. Okay. We'll take care of you last, I guess. Okay. He's already over here, so. Okay. Oh, yeah. You. What? Now, when we're working this, if some of these things don't match with what you have, let me know, and we'll see what we can work out. No, I can we're, adjust. We're starting one. out. Um. Basically, let me see your character. I'll give it back to you. No, not that one. Did I not give you the other one yet? No, you haven't given me anything. God, I'm just mean. Did I not print yours out? I'm pretty sure I printed everything out. There it is. For some reason. What? Oh, okay. Got it. For some reason I put yours afterwards instead of before. I'm very easily confused right now. <laughs> Confusion, say. Okay. Boom. Okay, you... Don't have a code name yet, do you? No. But you have a real name. Who are you? Don't say Mark Fathom. Right, uh, dear? Chase Steele. Shut up, Violet Payne! <laughs> I was just going to go with Hercules, but fuck y'all. 
Oh, you gotta go Hercules. Your name may be the normal. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what it was. <laughs> what? His name sounds kind of like a porno name. Hers sounds like a drag queen name. At least their names aren't Peter Parker and Clark Kent, and Lois Lane, and you know weird things like that. Wait, what's Black Panther's real name? Um. I'm not gonna choose it. I just want to know. Oh God. It's a really cool name. Look it up. I can't remember right now. It's a hard name to pronounce. Yeah. Well, it's probably Wakandan. Yeah, it is. I got it. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So you are Chase Steel, Hunter. Physical training. Your guilt? I kind of wrote down some stuff which has to do with... um Shala. Shala. Oh, shit. God damn it. And death of family friend. That's all we're going to worry about putting down for now. Um, you any information for your driver? What's your driver's name? Clint Ross. Are you pulling these names out of your ass? No, he looked them up. That's fine, he has names. You guys don't. <laughs> I'm CJ Walker, bitch. No, you're CJ not. Walker, bitch. Okay, got it. I'll write it down. Your last name is Bitch. <laughs> okay. Well, um, you can do it. Where is it? Rich friend. Okay, rich family. That's right. We got a lot of things to roll on you. Roll die ten. Nine. Okay. Nine. Holy oh, shit! Nine. You have a big family. You got nine in my family? Alive, yeah. Ow. So we're going to say oh. mom, Hell. dad, yeah. and there's seven more? Maybe that's why your cash went down so low, huh? <laughs> He got divided by a huge ass family. And this was going to be. What are you, male? Mm hmm. Okay, we're going to go. Female. Yeah, female. Male. And just keep rotating them. Make it easy. So, how many I got? Nine? You have seven. Seven? You don't have to live with them. You're grown up. You don't have to live with seven. family. But in this state, probably, no, they're probably traveling a lot, too. Yeah. Um, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. You have seven siblings. Roll a die ten. Because there's so many. Which roll? Zero. Ten? Oh, my God. Then there's you. You're not even one of them. Um, oh, according to this, you're either the oldest or the youngest. Probably oldest. Okay. Okay. Driver's name you said was Clint. And your so that's your rich family. What? Your rich family. Yeah. Which is all nine of them. And your rich friend. R a rich friend. Yeah, it's Troy. Yeah, we just talked about him. Troy. Troy. He's the congressman's son. He was paralyzed for a long time after the accident. Troy. That's diddling Linda. He's got a girlfriend, and you just, you say that's happening. <laughs> oh, I want to diddle Linda. Okay. Troy's your friend. I don't even know who it is. Um, <coughs> he's one that has money. He's that incredible. He's the one that was a brother. To the brother that you base everything on. He was the younger brother. Mm -hmm. And he got killed. Yeah. And he was paralyzed till like two years ago. And he's come out of it and he's come up with... Well, he's become kind of an, you know, Trying to work out. Well, yeah, he's kind of a douchebag too. He is. He most definitely is sometimes. Apparently he doesn't understand the idea of dating. One at a time. 
You, you, you'll know that before we even started. He's like always got women on him. Constantly. He mm. walks into a room and a woman's like, ah, wet in their shorts right there for him. <laughs> he's, it's kind of annoying. But he's your friend. You deal with it, man. Okay, your strongest points is your rifle and you're a genius. And since you didn't have a military background, basically you decided you just kept working on stuff. Genius would be a natural thing, but basically the way it works in this game is you have an idea. Uh, you want to create something. Uh, bullets that fire out and make a cage like Green Lantern and trap someone. Probably not. But you would need to have a genius skill to come up with something that does not exist in the world. Then we can attempt to find out how much it's going to cost and you can make it. It's a skill that allows you to invent. That's what it's for. Also, if you really don't know what to relate anything on, or if you're looking at something, you're like, what the fuck is this? You can make a roll off your genius and maybe piece it together. Just because the player can't doesn't mean the character wouldn't. Yeah. Okay. Well, your big thing this morning has to do with a phone call. Um... Okay, first of all, you need to pick an island. The one on the end over there. Let me see. That one where I think thumbs at. That was yep. too big. Okay. You want the one next to it? Or you want over here? That little one over there sounds over here? good, yeah. Okay. I'll have to remember this, which one it is, and I'll mark it later. There. Okay, that's your island. Over here was a sighting of a cryptid. You've been hunting odd things. I think you went on a chupacabra hunt not too long ago. You like looking for things that aren't... Oh, wait, how old are you? Uh, I marked it at 35. So you're 35. Let's check something here. <coughs> um, where's my calculator? It's all the way over there, isn't it? You people need to take their medication. In a bit. He, he's not allowed to have any. I'm talking about. Yeah. He can't have my medicine. Here we go. Okay, apparently your mom and dad really love themselves, and they must be Catholics. 35, minus a die 10. What do you mean? mean? Roll die 10. Not 10. 8. And again, roll die 10. 6. That's a female, it's 27, a male, it's 21. Roll again, die 10. 1. She's 20. Roll again. Half these people are partying age, you're in trouble. 8. 8. Dad was on vacation. He didn't have sex for a while. That one's 12. Roll uh, die 10. What's roll? It was a 5. That one's seven. Two. That one's five. Four. That one's one. Now roll die ten. Nine. Your parents are forty-four. Um, can't be right. Nope. He's doing it wrong. Okay. Because I'm 35. 35 plus 18 plus, what'd you roll? Uh, 9. 62. And that's better. I forgot about the 18 years of life. The day probably were 18 at least. Yeah. Okay. So we give them a range of like nine years since this whole thing started. Okay, we got the family. Got your friend. Well, you got your driver. What do you drive? Because I'll have to get stats for it. 
Well, I'm gonna have more than one vehicle, but depends what they are. Uh, got one is just a a uh, a truck. Truck? Yeah. Okay. What's your incredible? Yeah. Okay. What do you want? Hmm? Go ahead. Truck? Yeah, it's a truck. Just a truck, or what else do you have? Um, I set up for uh, a car and a uh, motorcycle for later. That's no problem. You can have those. Okay. Um, you have someone. They're over here in the swamps, Seminole Swamps. States they have seen either Bigfoot or some kind of lizard man. You found it, out about it. You didn't get a call from Linda. You got a call all from a friend of yours at the newspaper. Um, they uh, just came from talking with her and her bosses kind of wouldn't let her talk. You have a little more clout than her than we do. So, matter of fact, your friend, his father owns the place. You're friends with the senator or congressman. I mean. Okay. Troy is his son. God damn it. Plugging up. There. Wasn't working. Okay. Um, ah, you, uh, Troy's also your connection for something else. You wanted a special kind of ammo? Maybe something that wouldn't kill people? Like, like a triangle? You could be using it for cryptids. You don't have to use this for people. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is a reasonable request. Trank, blunt. Some kind of trank. Um, actually, the military's been working on a, uh, It's paralyzing, almost like a dart gun. I could probably get you some paralyzing rounds if you wanted to try out. I don't know no. how many. Yes. Um, they come from the fort, Dad's fort, but he no. usually has some around the house. We can no. see what we can find. <laughs> what? No. No paralyzing shoots, get bullets. No. They don't permanently do it. No. It's only temporary. No. Damn. <laughs> You don't know about it. Shh. No. He's got to go talk to Linda. That's Linda in the background. No. No, you you don't get to talk for Linda. You fuck. You got Linda fired. I did not. Yes, you did. Did not. Yes, you did. No. Nope. You caught her. Didn't you yelled at her. You grabbed her by an arm from the front of the news people, dragged her into the boss's office. She got an argument with the boss. Well, she should have been flapping her fucking loose jaws about it. Yes, you're very true. She she caused herself for being back there. She should have kept those turkey lips between her legs shut. Okay. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> um. So, with a phone call on your connections, mm -hmm. you have a connection stat. You can go ahead and roll on that. What's your connections rank? Right here, there's a skill actually. You have a specific skill for it. Connections. Good. Okay, roll. This is like a whole web of people you can call. Uh, 41. Okay. Actually, you didn't come up with anyone. This is kind of a smaller situation. So, um, but uh, right before she's about to give us the juicy bits, her boss grabbed her, dragged away, and said there was no comment. So it makes me think maybe there's something more to this one than Ben. Just oh firing her on the spot. God. Make me sound like the bad guy. <laughs> Blame the news person. Well, I got some tank, uh, trank ones. Here. Roll. Or no. Come up with a name. No, you don't. 
Uh, I'll come with a name. I don't care. Um, go list and go. Or uh, just a just name. Just a name. Oh, oh m women or men? Doesn't matter. Either or. Whatever one you happen to be on. Patsy. Patsy? The person you're talking to at the news crew that apparently doesn't like the bosses at the uh, Rayon Animal Labs is Patsy. She's the one you were talking to. Patsy, Patsy. So, she, you'll be the name person. Come with the name. So, what do you want to do about it? Trying to get some more information from her. No! She'll meet you out in front of the labs. No, she won't. She might have to meet you across the street at the old um, church. No, she won't. <laughs> you got a date. You're on your date. <laughs> no, actually, no. She's going to show up. When we pick up, she's going to show up as you guys are talking. So. Yeah, we're going across the street. No, you won't. Oh, <laughs> well, we're going to start. She uh, points at the area. So it's over there behind those, behind the labs, in the fenced area. There was a. Uh, I was out back there, just mind my own business, and I look over, and there's some large man-like shape moving through the woods. I just assume either Bigfoot or I've heard a lizard man around here, but maybe it was a skinwalker. Mm -hmm. Interesting hunt. So. Um, let me see what do you have that could be helping on this. You lie! Oh, you have a headquarters too, but it's just like a house. You got to decide where we got to put your house. Is it on your island? Yes. Okay. No. <laughs> she's not there. Ignore her. She, <laughs> she's too busy trying to buy things, and she's waiting for money to roll around. Okay, oops. Your spy vehicles are a car, and a, truck, a truck, and a motorcycle. And I'll figure out which kind of vehicles they are later on to write it down. Um, well, are you talking like a sports car or like? Uh, I should say that because that gives me stats already, and from there you don't need. I don't need much. Yeah, more. it's one sports car. Okay. What kind of truck do you mean? Uh, dually. Dually doesn't mean shit to me. Are you talking like a semi? No, it's a uh, kind of like kind of like her truck. Okay. But uh, hers is half ton. I'm talking three quarter ton. It doesn't mean shit in the game. Big pickup. Big truck. Yeah. Uh, well, big pickup is different than pickup. Okay. Kind of. Do they all look nice, or do you have like anyone looking? They're all nice. Okay. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chase, Mr. Steel. Linda, we'll meet you and we'll get a little bit into the discussion because we're going to stop at the point that she comes out. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, it was, and she kind of just, you know, sets out um, basically what she saw, rope chain size. We're going to do this, I just guess. 91. Okay. You feel her story. Of what she saw, it could be accurate, but you have a few flaws in it. Your genius would pick these out. Yeah. And this is what we can start with next time. You want to write them down? One. Why was she out behind in a fence section? Was she on a what? A. She shouldn't be where she saw. She said she saw. Why was she? It's forbidden. On a forbidden area. Bad area. Yeah. Well, I guess that's the main one is why was she there? Um, what was she doing there? It's kind of the thing. Why? She was there. She had been there for a reason. Why? But she's just standing around looking for a monster? You know, what the hell? It, you know, it, it she seems kind of weird. Why? What she was... What she was doing. Yeah, well if she explains what she was doing, maybe it'd explain why, but not always. She says she was sharpening her pencils. You're like, excuse me. Outside. 
Yeah, there's no sharpener out behind the building. That's a strange place to put a sharpener. Yeah, yeah so no one else uses it. That's why it's a secret. Exactly. Then you know she's in a conspiracy nut. Okay. I think we got your stuff now. Your family. You got any questions? About your character at this point? Nope. Okay. Good. Yeah. You got some stuff there written down. Now. Chaos. Yes. Chaos. I need you for a little bit. Okay. We're gonna get a rarity over here. We have Chaos join us. He's got his character in our comic book game. Um, here's your character sheet, but we gotta write some stuff down on it. A, you need a regular name. Ares. Ares, spell it for me. E R A S or A R E S, like War God. The War God. Okay. That's a strange name for a child who has a feeble intelligence. Hey, he wasn't. A, he was the god of being a little bitch. Well, apparently your parents were like. New fancy names. I mean, I could have gave you the other name, but I don't know how to spell that one either. That's right. You could also chose it for yourself after you became normal. You had a situation. Well, first of all, we should start at the beginning. First of all, you lived at the circus. Yeah, I'm a circus freak. Well, you have a feeble intelligence and a poor strength. But you are actually quite agile. Um, friends of some people at the zoo, or the zoo, at the uh, circus. Mm -hmm. Especially you found out about three specific ones. They came here apart, but all had something in common. Basically, you found out the three people being... Where's our kids? These people you know from the zoo. These three. The fat lady, the strong man, and the dog-faced boy. Mm. Now, the dog-faced boy used to be one of your pretty good friends. You found since the experiment, though, mm -hmm. hasn't been as much so. You don't understand what he's saying anymore as much. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you still hang a little bit. you got to decide on, like, if you still live here or not at this point. Okay. But... Okay, you went ahead, to, you were living at the zoo because you had nowhere else to go. Or the uh, not zoo. Circus. God, I want to put you in the zoo, don't I? Yeah, you do. Okay, you're in the circus. Uh, you found out these guys are here because of a... This has to be hush-hush because uh, they are being paid already. Mm -hmm. They don't want to lose their money. Yeah. Um, they're being paid uh, because uh, they are failed experiments. Uh. Um, all from uh, Rayon. Although, uh, if you look at Strongman, he was the last one. Mm -hmm. What he did, what they did, is they enhanced something on all of them. Fat Lady weighs much more than her weight should show. Mm -hmm. The weight was a side effect of the fact she just can't move as much anymore because she's so heavy. Yeah. Um, Strongman is really strong. Um, he lifts more than he shows in the shows. Yeah. Dog Face Boy. Well. He's, you're not sure, he's very much like a dog. Yeah. Um, the thing is, he has implanted, has had implanted by tattoo people, piercing people, mm -hmm. claws and teeth mm -hmm. um, for the show. But you also know they're very effective. You see to meet with them. Yeah. Um, you used to get along with him more because his intelligence is feeble. Mm -hmm. So you two kind of palled around and your agility kind of helped to hang with him. But you were a lot weaker. You've been like the sick pet. Yeah. Heading off again? Yep. He went to the labs, the same one the other three had gone to. One of them, actually. Uh, they got him into a separate program instead of the growth or the animal experimentation. They got him into a super soldier program to implant things into his also empty head. They did so, along with a couple others they saw walking around sometimes. But they really worked hard to keep you guys apart. It seemed kind of weird on that part. That's one part that kind of bugged you. You were looking for new friends at the time. Yeah. But now, you're a typical reason. You're a common person. Um, 
That's why they let you go. You were actually successful for what you were looking for, but they were looking for super intelligence. They didn't realize yours was lacking so much. Yeah. What has happened though, you've had an incre incredible increase of your speed, but you're a little hyperactive. Um, okay. Yeah, all the time. The weirdest thing is before leaving, Sylvia, the director of the, um, Sylvia Shasta, the director of the labs, came in one day and put a chip in your head. Mm -hmm. It was the last one. You knew they were expecting three chips, yeah. three slots for them. But then came in and told you, you're like, what's this slot for? What's this one for? And she said, for this. And they brought you in a giant egg. She says, now this is our secret and you're leaving. Take this with you. Otherwise, you're going to exterminate it. Yeah. So. And you left. Um, she kind of covered the books for you. To yeah. disappear. That's why you have people so much looking for you. Um, they know where you are. Military can find you. You can call them. You don't have a great relation with them because you're not really what they wanted. Yeah. Uh, you're a, for their intent, you're a failure. Um, so are you currently still living at the circus or would you try to find homes elsewhere? You can live at the circus still and work there. Yeah, I'll still, I'll still be at the circus. Okay. Your strength hasn't increased. But, you know, you still have your agility. Yeah. Um... Certain dishes you find are living on the church, on the uh, circus. So there's a guy known as the hangman or noose. He's a trick rope guy. He seems to be the strong arm of the uh, circus. Mm -hmm. And before what happened, he was kind of a bully with you. Mm -hmm. He's kind of backed off a little bit. But her leg was hitting it. <laughs> that was uh, not really enough. Yeah. So you don't feel that you liked him much. Um, but then we'll get... Are you heading to the room? No. I'm just okay. Uh, the only thing we're going to kind of address for you a little bit is that one night you get a message. Mm -hmm. It's like sitting in your... Uh, I guess you live in one of those wagons. Wagon living. You know, like the circuses have. Yeah. Probably with Dog Boy. Does he sleep at the foot of the bed? Like a good dog? No. He gets his own bed. Damn. He gets a bigger bed. You know why? He's an earner. What are you doing around here now? Some tickets? Yeah. Okay. We're breathing fire. You know how to do that. Not that hard. Yeah, go talk to the Sword Swallower. See if he wants to teach you. A lot of times Sword Swallowers also do that. Yeah. So, on um, this note, it's left for you. Mm -hmm. This is Aries. Father is looking for us. We need to hide. Meet me. And he gives you the address of this church. Mm -hmm. They used to be across the street from one of the Aries and from one of the labs. Mm -hmm. He wants to meet you there. Mm. He's one of the other. Um, Subjects that we're experimenting on. Mm -hmm. So, very little message information on the message. Mm -hmm. Do you wish to go to this meeting? Yes. Okay. Do you wish to bring your forbidden pet, who since then has hatched out of the egg? Mm -hmm. You had to go through a oiling process and how to take care of the young. What kind of like? Luckily, that's what you have. And the dog boy face boy can't tell anyone. Mm -hmm. And it's in your wagon with you guys. Does he not speak? No. He doesn't. Um, but you don't know yet if it's from a... Well, he grunts. Mm -hmm. He communicates. His voice growls more. Mm. Yeah, it's like talking with your dog. And any vo words he can say? Mm -hmm. It's like words you hear dogs on YouTube say. Okay. You know... So he keeps it to a minimum. I love you. You're like, why is my dog telling me this? Yes. Okay. You go meet this guy. He informs you. 
Because otherwise we're going to go through a longer time. You'll never get this done. And they'll all yeah. hear what's happening with you. You're at the hospital. You're at the church across the street when we open up the game. Okay. You're in a separate thing, but it's near. They're out in the parking lot, so you're across. Um, you meet this guy. You realize which one it is. It's one that every time you pass in the hallways, you would say, God bless you. Mm. He was kind of a religious freak. He didn't notice it so much at the time. Yeah. Um, apparently, he introduced himself to you as Trinity. Okay. And... And then they point, can I kill this motherfucker? Yeah. Okay. If you wish. If it becomes necessary. We're at this point in the game. We're in an early point. You're here alone. Okay. It's a comic book game, not a superhero game. So I don't actually have to be a good person, do I? No. Anti-hero. Let's go. He informs you that the source of us, mm -hmm. the one that me, you, and one of the other subjects were experimented on was split DNA from a source. Mm-hmm. I've learned that it's called Father. Mm. And I've heard and found that this is not the first time he's done this. Mm -hmm. He's fed on the others, too. He takes your mind and adds it to his and it becomes stronger. We're being grown like food. Ah. And if we don't gr gather together to deal with this threat, he's going to hunt us down individually. So he's a brain sucker. Interesting. So that's your situation. You're currently at that um, church across the street from where they are. Where she's meeting in the yard in the lot, uh, parking lot of mm -hmm. for Linda to talk to the guy about the giant she saw out in the woods. Mm -hmm. You'll be coming out and seeing all this going on. Also, though, there is another member of the group mm -hmm. that you have seen before mm -hmm. but never talked to. Mm -hmm. And that was Chakra. As we call it, or Violet, most character. Because you were both at the labs at the same time. Uh -huh. You like, again, one of those crossing phases, but it's an entirely, if you'd ask, is that another person? No, 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 that's entirely a different thing going on. That's yeah. Dr. White's. Dr. White. Yeah, it's character, that's the name of the character in my, I, I just rolled. Um, that's the name of the character. I took a book and went how many words down. Mm. Um, that's a character that is in my movie. Yeah, I know, that's why it's <laughs> dead bit though. So, now the question is, did you have any questions about your character? I assume you're alone. Your family dropped you off at the zoo, at the circus. Yeah, the no, zoo. I'm alone. They dropped you off at the zoo. The zoo said, this is a circus issue. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a zoo slash circus. Yeah, because they have animals too. Yeah. You have one. You've contemplated showing it, but you don't know if you should or not. No, definitely not. Not until he's much bigger and I can ride him. Yeah, if he gets that big. You don't know a thing about it. Hey, I will find a way to make him bigger. <laughs> I will be Get those growth friend. experiments. Like it was done on Fat Lady and Strong Man. But once it worked this time. Yeah. Get a buff, Dragon. That's this big. <laughs> Looks like one of those bulldogs. Yeah.